you're at an OECTA or at any other teacher federation for, for that matter, you actually get a snapshot of how the entire educational system works. And not just in Canada either, but around the world. I've been in classrooms right across the province of Ontario and, and in different parts of Canada. There's a remarkable similarity um, in teaching, whether it's Southern California, uh, Soweto, uh, Northern Ontario, or or, or Saskatchewan. It makes you realize how large a province Ontario is. Uh, I mean, we live in a huge country, but uh, our province is massive too. Being president of OECTA, uh, you quickly realize that 90% uh, of the area you cover is north of the French River. We, we have teachers spread out across an area from the Manitoba border to the Quebec border in Northern Ontario that that represents an area that is larger than most European countries. In OEC, the, the other thing you get is you, you get a much better understanding of the systemic working of the Catholic Church, too. You're working with the bishops, with religious education departments, with Carfleo, and with, with other organizations. So you, you, you get an understanding of the entire Catholic education community as well, which is a uh, I, I hope it will be a tremendous benefit when I return to the classroom. And I think it's important to, in that relationship, uh, it's not the teacher teaching the students as in filling up a, a ewer of water. It's uh, the teacher and the student working and learning together. What I've learned is that power uh, doesn't come from your position or authority. You have power comes from your ability to persuade people. Part of that too is about relationship. You need to build a relationship of trust with people to get to the point where, where they can open their minds to be open to, to new ideas. And, and part of that too is you have to be willing to accept what they have to say. When you do that, you can achieve a lot.